All right, good morning and welcome to day something of Ralston's big adventure. All right, so I've totally lost that track of what day I'm on. I think I'm like 60 or something now, but uh, yeah. So I'm in the middle of Shenandoah National Park. Um, stayed in, I think, Black Rock Hut last night which they call shelters huts here for whatever reason. Anyway, so I stayed there last night. Uh, I've got 21 miles today to the hut that I wanna stay at. So it's gonna be a pretty long day and I got a pretty late start. It's 8.52 right now and I'm just leaving the shelter. Um, the great thing about uh, Shenandoah is is that basically the trail parallels the Blue Ridge Parkway or Skyline Drive as it's called here. Um, and there's all kinds of like restaurants and lodges and stores and all kinds of stuff along the way. So there's a store right off the trail, like probably six miles from here. And they've got blackberry ice cream and coffee and some other goodies. So I'm going to stop in there for a quick break and then keep moseying on. <clears throat> um, the weather, I think it's supposed to be pretty calm today. Just pretty overcast and foggy. So there are going to be like no views. But it's going to be cool. So that's a plus. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's about it. I'll update you guys as the day goes on. All right, so this is my first really good view in Shenandoah. Um, I blame a lot of that yesterday on the weather and then just the trail itself just does not like open itself up to like pretty views like it's really just the road which i heard at one point the old trail was the road and then they had to reroute it and all this stuff so that's why it's like covered most of the time but i'm very thankful for moments like these where you can kind of get up and see the sights of shenandoah because it is a really pretty park but you just can't see it because you're not exposed that often on the trail but hopefully um it's going to get better which i think it will Hey, buddy. That guy has some spikes on him. There have been so many deer in this park so far that I've seen. But, uh, yeah. Always fun to see a deer. All right, look what I hit. 900 miles Woo! this is crazy uh, my parents are coming in town tomorrow to psych pack me so i actually should be a thousand in like four days which is nuts but very happy to be at the uh 900 mile marker today All right, so here I am on another road walk. And again, reason being, it was either hike up the mountain and over, down back to the gap and see absolutely nothing, or take the road around to the gap and like have overlooks every once in a while. So I'm like, take the road because I didn't come here to stare at trees all the time. Like I came here to like, see the sides and see the tops of mountains and see like the opening so yeah I, I took the road again um and i think this is actually longer than the trail so and i i wouldn't feel bad about it anyway but just in case like you're like oh you're cheating mm, not really the appalachian trail is actually cheating me by keeping me away from the sites and it's really funny because like there's all kinds of like blue blaze trails off the AT 
they're like a mile long that basically take you back to the road to see something. So it's just, Shenandoah has been, I have to say, really disappointing with how it's kind of laid out. Um, yeah, just very frustrated. Hey y'all, it's Rostin here hiking the AT. I'm hiking the AT um, for several reasons, but uh, one big one is uh, to support the Isaiah 117 house in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, this organization organization is dedicated to, um, you know, helping foster kids at the moment uh, they're taken out of the home and some of the most traumatic parts of their lives. Um, that's where they seek to intervene. And so uh, they seek to provide a house with food, clothing, um, you know, foster parents, um, almost pretty much immediately after they're taken out of the home. So it's a really, really great organization um, that's dedicated to bettering the lives of, of children. And, um, and I just could not be more appreciative and more excited um, to support them and, and of all the work they're doing. Um, so if you'd like to help out and donate, you can visit the link below um, and it'll take you to the donation page. But uh, please consider giving a gift um, to help support Isaiah 117. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, you know, as always, Maverick out.